Hello, this is Trey with Music Mastery. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of how to play the bass clarinet. If you're new to the bass clarinet, you probably played clarinet or saxophone beforehand, and the bass clarinet is very similar to each of those. So first of all, we're going to work on how to put the bass clarinet together. Just like the clarinet, you have your bell. It rounds up, it goes up like a saxophone. <coughs> Next, you'll have the lower part of the body of the instrument. Now, if you, some of your bass clarinets might just be one long body piece, or it might be two pieces that are screwed in together right here. Uh, regardless, we're going to deal with this and put the bottom of this part to here, to the bell. As we're doing this, you might have a key on the bell. Make sure you pop that up and have it go over a bottom key right on that part of the, of the instrument. That's going to help us to play the lowest note of our instrument. Um, on your bass clarinet, it might be a low E flat, or on professional models, it can go down to even a low C. And of course, as we're setting up, put uh, use cork grease as you need. Next, we're going to get out our peg. Now, this is my peg. It's kind of it's smaller. Some of your pegs might go all the way up your um, the half of your instrument. Regardless, you're going to want to slide in your peg wherever you see it in the back of the instrument and adjust it to the height that you need it. You don't want the you don't want the bell of the instrument to be touching the ground while you're playing, as it can go both uh, stifle the sound and it can harm the bell over time. Now, if your instrument comes in two parts for the body, you want to take the upper joint and put it in here into your lower joint. As you adjust it, you'll want to make sure that everything, you want to base it off of how well these two keys are lining up with one another. And there you go, that's the body of the instrument. Now we're going to head over to the top part of the instrument. Right here, we have our neck. Uh, it acts very much like the barrel on the clarinet, except obviously it's not very barrel shaped. Um, but just like your clarinet, you will now take out your mouthpiece and slide your mouthpiece on to the neck so it lines up just like that. Gives a nice shape. Just like the clarinet or saxophone, take out your reed, get it wet. Align it on your mouthpiece and take your ligature, slide the ligature over, adjust the reed, and tighten the screws. Now that you have the top part of this, of this ready, you should go ahead and try to make some sounds out of it. It's a similar armature to the clarinet, but it will likely be looser and wider. So don't be afraid if it takes you a couple of times to get a sound out. Once you feel confident doing that, go ahead, take the body of your instrument and put it on there. As you put it on, make sure that, they, that these keys line up. So whenever you play, press the register key, this top part can come as well. <clears throat> now that you're all set up, go ahead and try to play the, play the open G a couple times. If you're new to clarinet and don't know the clarinet fingerings, feel free to go ahead and look up a clarinet fingering chart online. Uh, but if you're used to clarinets, bass clarinet uses almost the exact same fingerings as the uh, normal B flat clarinet. So as you're getting ready to play a sound, remember it's a clarinet embouchure a little bit wider, a little bit looser. It takes a lot of air support. So don't be afraid if it takes you a couple of tries to get out of sound, but do your best to get out an open G. Once you have, once
once you feel confident playing your open G, go ahead and try to play down chromatically slurring. You might find that as you go lower, it'll, take, it'll be harder to get those notes out. That's just, because it that's just because it requires a little bit more breath support as you go down there. Don't be afraid, it's going to, it might take a while to get used to those notes, but with bass clarinet especially, it's worth it. And if you have the low C extension, and that's the basics of the bass clarinet. And that's it. I hope this video is really helpful for you. If you are enjoying these videos, make sure to encourage your other members of your ensemble to join musicmastery.band so that everyone in your section will have their parts mastered for every rehearsal. Remember, you get three requests per month as a member. We look forward to helping you to master your next piece of music.